Cool. Okay. To so to prepare a slide, um, we're using a, an onion cell as a sample. Um, I'm just going to go through the steps of how to prepare it. So the first thing is you need to, to get a piece of sample. Now that's obviously way too thick. Um, so we're just going to take a small uh, a piece of this membrane. So it's a thin transparent film that you'll find um, probably on the inner layer of, of the, the onion, um, of one of the layers. So we just break a small piece. Now you really don't need a large piece. Even that's probably too big. So I'm just going to break that in half. And then you stick it to the slide. Now if you're using a new slide, you won't need to clean it. Um, if you're using an old slide, just give it a bit of a wipe down with alcohol first and let it dry off. Alright, next we take our stain. So in this case we're using iodine. Um, if you're doing a lodia cells, you just use water. Or if you're using a different cell type, you might be using a, a different stain as well. So just a drop of that on top, making sure your sample is nice and flat first. Alright, that's probably a little bit much. Alright, then we take a cover slip. Again, if it's a new one, we don't have to clean it. If it's an old one, uh, just wipe it down with alcohol. You take it with, with one hand uh, and position it just so that the back end touches the, the water droplet. Take a really sharp pencil and hold up the other end. And if you lower it really slowly, you'll get it down without any uh, air bubbles. Just like that. If you do get air bubbles in there, if they're on your sample, you'll have to lift it up again and lower it down again, nice and slowly. You might have to add a little bit more fluid. Uh, if you didn't put enough fluid on there and you don't have the whole slide kind of covered, uh, sometimes what you can do is you can be a bit sneaky and just put a drop on the side and it'll suck it in by capillary action. If you've got way too much, just use a bit of paper towel to dab up the edges. Try not to, to touch the edge of the, the cover slip or you could suck out all the liquid. That's basically it. Then you chuck it on your microscope and have a look.